Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico with The Creativity Cave and I'm so excited to share with you the projects that I created with this month's Stampin' Up! Hope box from Paper Pumpkin. Um, this is a really cool kit and I think you're going to like my projects. They're really easy and fun to create. So I've got a little watercolor card and then a little treat of uh, little hard candies that I just put in a little clear bag and dressed up just a little with the components of the kit. I will also make the kit cards, like the ones that were designed for this specific kit um, at the end. So the Hope Box is something that Shelly, our co-founder of Stampin' Up! helped design with the uh, Paper Pumpkin design team. And uh, the idea is that you can put a few things in this box that are kind of precious to you or reminders um, of things to help you find hope in your day to day. And so it's kind of sweet. I think this is something you could definitely give to somebody who's maybe struggling through a hard time in their life, or maybe they're going through an illness or something like that as well. So um, really cool. Here are the projects that make this. And then there's also additional items to decorate your box if you would like. So and the box is really pretty as well. So if you haven't ever heard of Paper Pumpkin, this is our monthly subscription box. It comes in a cute little box, just like this each month. And the idea is that this is a 30 minute crafting escape. All that you need to complete these projects is a pair of scissors. Everything else is included. Um, and so it's a really kind of a fun thing to do. And I love it because it's projects that are already designed and ready to go. I just need to assemble them. And I love having this in my mailbox each month. It's a surprise, which is always fun. So you can subscribe um, to Paper Pumpkin through my online store. There's links in the description of this video. You can also get, and this is while supplies last, a refill of this kit. So all of the um, consumable components. So basically everything but the stamp set and um, the stamp and spot. So you will get all of these goodies to make um, the cards. And I think it makes nine cards plus the box and it includes envelopes. So that's pretty cool. All right, well, let's get started on my project uh, for today. So I'm going to start with a piece of Fluid 100 watercolor paper. And this is just paper that is... Um, designed for water coloring so it can handle that water that you put in it. I'm going to actually set this up in my Stamparatus um, just because it's a little bit larger stamp that I'm working with and so I want to make sure that I get a good impression and if not I can kind of line it back up again. Uh, I'm going to use Versamark ink. This is our watermark ink but it also stays wet long enough so that you can emboss it. So I've inked up my stamp really well and I just have this to position right in the center of my um, image here so I'll lift that up and you can't see anything but we're gonna emboss it um, with some white embossing powder so let me get this out of the way and I've got white powder that I will simply dump on top of this and what happens is when I heat this, it will create um, kind of a raised effect. And as <laughs> I love saying this, someone recently told me this is the gateway drug to stamping is heat embossing. So I think that's kind of funny. Uh, I will admit that I was for sure hooked once I started to emboss. So I'm just going to heat this up. Now this watercolor paper that I mentioned is a little thicker. It can handle extra water. Um, and whenever watercoloring, I highly, highly, highly recommend using it because regular cardstock cannot handle watercoloring and you don't get that pretty watercolor effect, which you'll see is really desirable. Now my heat tool is also really handy when I watercolor because I can dry things off quicker. Because let's be honest, I'm impatient when I stamp. I want that instant gratification. Okay, so I've got um, I've got just a little thing of water and um, my water brush. Now you don't have to, but I find that I go through so much water that's in 
in the tube of my water brush that it really just helps to have some water handy. So what I'm going to do is take uh, four colors of ink and I'm going to um, kind of add a little watercolor wash background on my card. So I'm going to use, uh, let's see, pale papaya. I'm going to use Calip or, uh, coastal cabana, the color that lets us know God loves us, soft sea foam and polished pink. So these are just some really pretty subtle colors and they kind of go with the kit, but not necessarily exactly. Now I'm going to, I added a little bit of reinker in my ink pad here. So I want to just um, pick up these colors um, and I'll show you what I mean by adding reinker in just a moment. And I'm just going to kind of brush over um, a little strip over the words like that. That's all there is to that. Now, in this case, I don't want the colors to really blend together. So what I'm going to do is kind of just heat this up. Now, I'm kind of going quick over this because I want to dry the ink, not reset the powder. Okay, so I don't want the powder to melt. I just want to dry the ink. And what I love is you get that those little edges and it looks really nice, okay? Now you can always go back over this and add more color if you feel it's too light. So the next color that I'm gonna use, ooh, got a little ring situation going on, hold on. Uh, I grabbed, well, I'm gonna use this tissue. To clean that off okay there we go <laughs> I think I oh when I tipped this over and showed you that it it did come out all right next color is coastal cabana and I'm going to just pick up some of the color in the lid and brush this across again I like that um, I did this separately so that the colors don't mix and you can see they're staying pretty good apart here's what it looks like when they mix but it doesn't always look like this sometimes it's just a muddy mess and so that's why you don't want them to mix too much especially because like orange and aqua might not create the prettiest color when they they mix together so that's why now this next color soft sea foam of course if it if it mixes with the coastal cabana it'll be okay not a big deal but you can see there's not a lot of ink in my lid of my pad so I can get ink in the lid of my pad two ways I can squeeze the ink pad to the lid some of you if you have hand problems that might not work great so another option is to put some reinker in the lid and I'm just grabbing my ringer sorry I couldn't find the right color so I can just put like a drop and I do mean just a drop of reinker in there you don't want too much because otherwise it can um, cause you problems and leak and whatnot we don't want that so I'll take my water brush just pick up that color and then brush it on okay and what I love about this is it just adds a nice little wash of color across our card now, when I was doing this originally, I was like, ooh, we need, we need a color to kind of pop this up. So then I chose polished pink. Okay. So again, we'll pick up some of that color on here and just brush it on. Oh, but I did not dry. And these are two colors that are probably not going to look very good together. Now, here's the beauty of watercoloring is if you do make a mistake like that where you don't like what's happening you can fix it. And that's where the, the paper really makes a difference. I'm gonna grab some polished pink reinker again. So I've got some more color in here and we're gonna go over this. Now I dried it, so we should be pretty good. And we'll just go over and be a little bit more careful. I was kind of chit-chatting. So I wasn't being super careful. And when you go over um, something you've watercolored, it should stay in the lines where it's dry. Um, but I always have a tissue on standby so that if I need to kind of blot off um, any ink away from, from here, I can do that pretty easily. And you can see it. There's a little bit of mixing, but not too bad. And I still think this looks really nice. Now, the other thing is sometimes you get a little bit of the color on the embossed words. 
after you've done everything. So I just touched a little teeny bit of water to this. And then I'm just going to kind of, you know, blot lightly. Now you want to have a clean spot for each color because you don't want to mix the colors because that won't look very nice. But you can just blot off and then your words are a little brighter white. Okay. So there we go. That looks great. Um, we're going to let that dry the rest of the way or what we can do is kind of help the process along. So I'll take my heat tool and just heat this. And again, we're going to kind of, we're just going over it quick because um, we don't want to remelt the powder. We just want to dry that water. And I love the little brush lines that kind of result in the the inconsistencies. I think that's what makes watercolor look great. Okay, so now to finish this card off, it's really simple. I'm just going to take and fold my card base, which is crumb cake. I wanted a nice neutral color so that it, the colors on the card would be the focus. So we'll give that a good crease with my bone folder. And then I'm gonna turn this over and add some dimensionals. Um, I love popping up my cards with dimensionals because it just makes everything pretty. And then we'll do a little embellishing. One of the things I love about paper pumpkin kits is they always come with some fun embellishments, whether they're kind of die cut pieces or um, different designs and things. They are always uh, have fun things. So I'm going to take one of these little butterflies out of here and I'm just going to kind of bend it so there's a little bit of dimension. I'll take a glue dot. There actually are adhesive dots that come in the kit, but I had that kind of handy. So I'll just add that right there to my kit. And then the kit also comes with a sheet of these fun little adhesive backed sequins. So I'll just use my take your pick tool to plop a couple of these on, including one in the center of my butterfly because it's just pretty. And then I'll simply sprinkle a few of these around onto my card. And I kind of like odd numbers. So I've got one, two, three, four, and five. So there we go. That is so pretty and so easy. Now the next project I had, I'm actually just gonna show this to you. Um, it was really simple. I took one of the little strips um, that are part of this kit and just adhered it on here with a punch um, from our oval duet punch that I punched in vellum and then I added one uh, of those butterflies on here and embellished it with another one of those sequins so really cute and these are just little candies actually I got these in the mail from um, another demonstrator um, it was just a fun little thing and they're in this little iridescent um, the each each one is individually wrapped in the iridescent um, wrapper which just makes them a little prettier than they are even in real life so that's kind of fun and just a cute little treat this would be sweet to stick in that box if you were giving it as a gift so there's those are my projects now if you'd like to stick around I'll show you how to do the cards in the kit itself so now let's make the cards that uh, came in our box. And I want to start by reminding you that you can actually get refills while supplies last. So I suspect they won't last too long um, of the consumable parts in this kit. So all these pieces that I'm about to show you and it's only $10 for nine cards and all the fun goodies. So I highly recommend it. There's plenty of leftover pieces to make tons more cards too. So um, here are those projects. So first off, um, our first card is going to be this one. This is actually the last card in the directions, just in case you're playing along. So I'm going to need my hopes. Now you can keep hope in all these other languages if you want, um, but I'm going to stick with English. That's just my deal. So I'm going to pull out the hopes and I just need one. So I'll set the others aside. Um, these you could use the back side and stamp something on them um, so that you don't waste this because I know as crafters we can't waste anything right okay we also have this gorgeous um, laser cut piece I will say if you were up to sacrificing one of these this makes a really cool stencil you could do some blending brushes over this and that sure would be fun um, 
So I've cut that piece out. I'm gonna adhere it to this card and you can see this was designed to have these fun little um, kind of shaded areas uh, line up behind this. So I'm gonna put some adhesive on uh, the backs of some of these and I'll give you a little tip. That sheet of adhesive that comes with our paper pumpkin kits, I've long time thought this was like the most useful, useless thing ever. That is until I started using them with my take your pick tool because this dumb tool is super handy. So I'm just going to position um, a few different dots on here. I think I've got four now. That's probably plenty. And then look, this tool will just take that backing right off which for me was so annoying before. So now I think these are kind of the bee's knees and what have I been doing with all these dumb adhesive <laughs> sheets from my many years of paper pumpkin. Anyway, okay, I'm just gonna stick that down. By the way, you could also pop these up with dimensionals if you wanted, cause that would be kind of cool as well. Okay, so there's my gorgeous card. I'm gonna flip this over and burnish it with my bone folder. I flip it over so I don't want to rip the stuff I just stuck down on there. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, now we're also going to need a couple of these little strips on here. So I'm going to do my stamping. Uh, I've got um, Blackberry Bliss is the ink. I'm just going to use my ink pad um, instead of the spot just because I can, I like to give my spots away. Okay, so we're going to stamp the two little words on here in our Blackberry Bliss ink. So where there is and there is faith. So those are the two words, and we'll pop those out of our little sheet. Um, it might be helpful to pop them out first, just kind of depending on what you like to do. And then I'm going to pop this up, and there are dimensionals that come in your kit so that you can use those. So we'll pop this up. And by the way, all of the instructions are in your paper pumpkin kit. So you can see all these details really handy, which is nice. Um, so the next thing. Um, oh, and you know, the other thing I wanted to point out is there also is uh, like a what you need for each step. So the first card, you need these pieces, the second card, etc., And then these pictures show you how to actually put them together. Okay, so on this one, um, we're going to embellish this with our hope tag, our two little phrase, phrases that we add, and then a little butterfly. So um, to do that, like I said, we're going to pop up the hope, and you can kind of position it on here wherever you want. It's like, oh, what do I cover up? Because it's so pretty. But I'm just going to add that right there. And then you can pop these pieces up as well, um, which I think I'm going to do because I like, I like this. And you kind of got to line up your dimensionals right in the right spot for that. Okay, so I'm just going to add where there is hope. There is faith. So nice. And then we'll also add a couple of our sequins because, gosh, they make everything better. By the way, I just chucked the back into that dimensional and it so did not go in the garbage. Okay, um, then we need a little butterfly. And I'm just going to add this one right here. And I didn't even look to see where I'm supposed to put it. I'm just going to stick it on wherever I want. So we'll put that little dot, get rid of the little backing. I like to add a little dimension and boom. Okay. Oops. There we go. So cute. Isn't that a beautiful card? Oh my gosh. This would so brighten someone's day. Um, of course, there's also a coordinating envelope to go with it, which is fantastic. So we'll put that together. All right. Or I'm just going to tuck it in the envelope. 
Okay, next up uh, we have, um, ooh, this pink card. This is one of my favorites. I love these little strips. Okay, so I've got my pretty pink card base. So again, give that a good burnish. Then there are the little strips that you're going to put on your card. Um, and we also need a white piece. I did not have that pulled out yet, but that should be in here. Okay, and we're actually going to pop these up onto um, our sheet here. And you can kind of do this however you want. So maybe you um, pop a couple up. They're going to overlap a little bit, but oh, doesn't that just make you happy? Like, look at how fun that is. So... I really like this. And I, this was one of the strips that I used to um, decorate my little treat bag. Okay. So I'm going to actually just stick that over the edge just slightly. And then we'll add this one. And I'm going to tuck this under. When you put adhesive kind of in the center of your strip, you have a little wiggle room for tucking things, which is kind of nice. Um, then I'm going to do this one next. Actually, this one I'm going to pop up. Because why not? And we'll stick that one on right there like that. And then we'll put our last one on and just adhere it like so and I'll have it stick off the edge just a little bit like I did the other okay we'll take this whole thing and adhere it to our card and then we need to stamp our sentiment oh this is so happy um for our sentiment we're going to stamp on one of these circles and um we'll add that in Blackberry Bliss ink. Just a note of hope. Oh, so nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do is pop off, <laughs> pop up that side and then just kind of adhere it on this side so that it sticks down like that. And then we'll add a couple of our butterflies. I'm just going to maybe put two on mine. Well, actually, it calls for three. We'll put three on. Why not? Okay, once again, I'll flip the three butterflies over and add my little dots because, gosh darn it, these things are not so bad. They're kind of, they're nice because they're tiny. They're smaller than like a regular glue dot would be or a mini glue dot. They're, they're like micro dots. Okay, but the backing still stick to everything. There's just, that's universal. Kind of like dimensionals, right? <laughs> okay, so we'll take and put each of these kind of in a spot where you'll see it, meaning, you know, you don't want to put a, the pink one on the pink area. You want to put it where it will show up. Okay, so there we go, and... Um, and then you can sprinkle on some sequins. And again, I love using, I like sticking a sequin in the middle of the butterfly, but you can also just sprinkle them around the card. But this is just so bright and happy. How could this not cheer somebody up to receive this in the mail? So put that one in there. And even the envelope makes me happy. Oh, cute, cute, cute. Okay, next up is our third card. This one, um, we're going to stamp uh, on a couple of things. So we've got our card. Actually, we're going to stamp the big sentiment. So I've got uh, my card base. Now, I chose to, to keep this in my, um, in my, what you call this thing, Stamparatus. So I'm going to take a moment to position, actually, I want to stamp on this. I want to position this so it'll be centered on here and that looks pretty good um 
I could maybe move it, scooch it down just a little. I like that. So I'm going to kind of <laughs> stick it in place with my magnets like that. And then this time we're going to ink this up with some Blackberry Bliss ink and just one last check and I'm going to move this over ever so slightly so it's centered. Oh, that looks good. And then I got to get my hockey puck. <laughs> if you're watching this and saying that is not a hockey puck, Dina, I know it's not, but that's what I call it. It's an air hockey handle and it's got the felt. So it just goes smoothly over this to make sure I get nice even coverage and look at that it's amazing okay so let me pull that off and we've got this done now um they have given us these hope and tomorrow words in um highlighted in a different color so once again you can just pop these off and then use the back side if you would like um, of the other languages I'm just popping out the English ones and then I'll I can use the rest uh, for the back side so um, I'm going to take hope and pop this up right over the top of the word hope and likewise tomorrow will pop up right over the word tomorrow and I love adding this. And then also, um, I think when I use this in the future, I can kind of take that idea and stamp this and then just trim out, you know, like stamp this in, in colored cardstock and then trim them out so I can highlight some of those words because that's kind of fun to do with this. Okay, so that looks good. We're gonna add it to our card base, which we folded already. And finally, and by the way, you can use your little dots to adhere these layers. I just, out of force of habit, am using my seal. Um, and then we're going to take an embellish with a couple of these little butterflies because they're just so cute. And some gems. Okay, so I'll take and add a couple of these on because, gosh, these dots are super handy. Get rid of the backing. Go off. Fly away. Stick to someone else's bra. Okay, so I've got one down there and one up there. And then we'll sprinkle some more of our sequins on. Now these are just super fun. Cute, 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 cute. There we go. So those are our three cards, um, plus the alternative projects that I shared with you. Um, I hope you loved these projects and they inspire you to use your kit. And if not, you can order a refill of this particular kit. Usually you have to be a subscriber to get the refills, but this time you can get them um, regardless, which is a nice perk. Or a nice little fun thing um, and if you're not a paper pumpkin subscriber please consider subscribing right now is the best time to get a subscription because you can get um, all kinds of celebration benefits if you get a three six or 12 month uh, prepaid subscription those will come with fabulous celebration perks if you have any questions about this um, these projects or anything else please just drop me a comment in this video I would appreciate the thumbs up and a subscribe because that helps my channel grow thank you guys so much for being here with me today happy stamping we'll see you soon bye bye